back guys today we will be seeing some problems on determinants so this is our first problem prove the determinant of this we need to prove this so let us start with the solution so first I am writing the left hand side 1 1 1 a b c a square b square and c square so first we will apply we will make changes in r1 row 1 such that r1 minus r2 so what I'm meaning is that this will be 0 row 1 minus row 2 this will be a minus b this will be a square minus b square this will be constant constant no changes in row 3 and row 2 so what I have done is r1 dash that is r1 minus r2 now similarly we will make changes in row 2 the same changes same type changes now we will subtract r2 minus r3 so this will be a0 a minus b a square minus b square this will be 0 b minus c this will be b square minus c square this will be remain constant so we made r2 dash that will be r2 minus r3 now we will take a minus b common so and b minus c common so taking a minus b common and b minus c common we will left with this so this will be 0 taking a minus b common from row 1 and b minus c common from row 2 this will be 0 this will be 1 this will be a plus b this will be 0 1 b minus c b plus c this will be 1 c c square now we need to expand this determinant so this will be a minus b this will be b minus c now we will expand the determinant from this side so taking the coefficient this will be 1 times b plus c minus of a plus b so this will turn out to be a minus b b minus c this will be b plus c minus a minus b this two gets cancelled out this will be a plus b b minus c and this will be c minus a so that we need to that we had to prove so this got proved so let us move to on move on to our next question so we need to prove this determinant should be equivalent to this by Laplace method so so let us start by Laplace expansion we can write this determinant as 0 a b c minus a 0 d e this will be minus b minus d 0 f this will be c minus c minus c minus f 0 so we need to expand this by Laplace expansion so minus 1 to the power we will take these two rows and 1 plus 2 and 1 plus 2 so we will first be taking 0 a a minus a 0 a minus a 0 and the other two will taking bc 0 f this will f 0 as this two will cancel out so this four will be left 0 f minus f 0 so more terms minus 1 1 plus 2 and now we'll take the rows 1 plus 3 column so this will be 0 a this will be 0 b minus a d now this will be minus d f minus e 0 so this 2 and this 2 will get cancelled out this 2 this 4 are left now minus 1 will to power 1 plus 2 this will be 1 plus 4 first and fourth column so this will be 0 minus a c e and this will be what minus d 0 minus e f minus f so now plus minus 1 whole power 1 plus 2 now 2 plus 3rd column these 2 columns 
so this will be a b 0 d this will be this will be minus p f minus c 0 now this will be plus minus 1 whole to the power 1 plus 2 now 2 and 4th column so this will be a c 0 e this will be minus b 0 minus c minus f now last term min plus minus 1 whole to the power 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 so this will be uh, b c d e and this will be minus b minus d minus c minus e now we have expanded all the 6 terms so now we need to expand it this will be 0 this will be a square my plus a square and this will be f square plus f square so this product will give me a square f square plus sign and this will be negative this will be 0 a a d and a b and this will be e f so this will be a b e f plus now here will be a c and this will be d f so it will be a d c f now plus again d a and c f this will be d a c f now minus a e b f a b e f and at last this will be plus this will be b e minus c d whole square if we take the minus common this will be and multiply with this it will be b c minus c d whole square so and f sim simplifying this we get a square f square minus 2 b e f plus 2 a t c f plus b e minus c d whole square and factorizing this further we get a square minus b e square plus c d square so this we have to prove let us see our next problem so we need to solve for x from the determinant so let us start with the solution so let me write the question this will be 3 3 x plus 4 5 and 5 x plus 4 so we need to do make some changes so first of all we will make changes in column 3 so we will minus column 3 with column 2 so x plus 2 this will be 3 3 this will be 3 x plus 4 5 now changes are made to be in column 3 this will be 0 this will be 5 this will be minus x plus 1 this will be x minus 1 that will be equals to 0 so c3 dash will be c3 minus c2 now taking x minus 1 common so this will be x minus 1 common this will be x plus 2 3 3 3 x plus 4 5 this will be 0 this will be minus 1 and this will be 1 now 0 now we'll make this one 0 so x minus 1 so to do that we'll make changes in row 2 so we'll add row 3 and row 2 to get this one 0 so this will be x plus 2 3 0 this will be 3 if we add this this plus this 3 no this will be 6 this will be 6 this will be x plus 9 and this will be 0 and this will be x 3 5 1 equals to 0 so now we will expand the determinant from the this taking this as power x minus 1 this will be times 1 this will be so eliminating this true we will get x plus 2 times 
x plus 9 this will be minus 18 that will be equals to 0 so this will be x minus 1 this will be x square plus 11x that will be 0 and this will be x x minus 1 x plus 11 taking as common so from there therefore we can say that x equals to 0 or x equals to 1 or x equals to minus 11 these are the three possible values for x for the determinants this next problem is we need to prove that determinant will be 0 so to do this we will split this in two determinants so that will be so I am continuing 1 1 1 alpha beta gamma this will be alpha square beta square and gamma square minus of this will be 1 1 1 alpha beta gamma this will be beta alpha gamma alpha and this will be alpha beta so now keeping this as constant 1 alpha alpha square 1 1 beta gamma beta square gamma square this will be now we will multiply alpha beta and gamma to row 1 row alpha to row 1 beta to row 2 and gamma to row 3 so to we will also need to divide it by alpha beta gamma so alpha alpha square alpha beta gamma this will be beta beta square alpha beta gamma this will be gamma gamma square alpha beta gamma now this will be 1 1 1 alpha beta gamma this will be alpha square beta square gamma square now taking alpha beta gamma common we get alpha beta gamma by alpha beta gamma this will be alpha beta gamma this will be alpha square beta square gamma square this will be 1 1 1 so this will get cancelled out so now we will interchange the rows twice first we will interchange C, C2 and C3 C2 and C3 then we will interchange C1 and C3 so by doing that we get this will be the same now first interchanging this so we will get a minus sign then again if we interchange these two rows these two columns then the minus then one more minus so it will again be plus and the first minus also with always there so this will be alpha beta gamma so since the two determinants are same this will get cancelled out and we have proved our question move on to the next question suppose we have variable raised determinant dr so which is this and we need to prove that d1 d2 up to dn that will be zero sum of all the determinants will be zero so so to proceed this let us start that equals to summation r from 1 to n of dr so we need to find this so this will be summation r to 1 and now we put the value of dr that is this so x y z and n plus 1 upon 2 this will be n square this will be n 3 n minus 1 upon 2 so now we need to put the values again so this will be for r so that will be summation from r to 1 upon r this will be summation r from 1 to 2r minus 1 this will be summation for r from 1 to n this will be 3r minus 1 other for for the other terms this they will be constant they are not linked with r in any way so they will remain as the same so this will be the same so now we need to find the value of this so to do this first let us simplify a bit more so this will be summation r from 1 to n this will be r now this we can write as taking two common we get from n this will be r now this will be again this is 1 and this will be taking 3 common n this will be r minus summation from r to n this will be 1 this will be x y z n n plus 1 n square 
n 3n plus 1 upon 2 so now we will find the values of this we know for this for from 1 to n the value of r is r will be n into n plus 1 by 2 this will be 2 n n plus 1 by 2 minus n this will be 3 n n plus 1 upon 2 minus 2 n so so sorry this will be our question is 2 so this will be 2 this will be 2 so now this will be x y z this will be n n plus 1 upon 2 n square and 3 n minus 1 upon 2 now we need to just simplify this and we'll get the answer top easily so simplifying this n n plus 1 upon 2 that will remain the same this will be n square this 2 2 gets cancelled and take this will be n square and this will be n into 3n minus 1 upon 2 this will be x y z and this will be n n plus 1 2 n square n 3n minus 1 upon 2 so since we get column 1 and column 3 are identical so that will be equals to 0 due to our property so we have proved our sums so let us see another question we need to prove the value of this determinant will be 1 so to do this first let me write a property ncr plus ncr minus 1 that will be equals to n plus 1 cr so we will apply this property here to both column 2 and column 3 so we will minus column first we will minus column 2 with column 1 then column 3 with column 1 so this will be mc1 m plus 1 c2 now this will be 0 0 so what we see that if we add this minus subtract this we get the power remains same lower power and c c this changes to r so this will be m c 0 this will be m plus m plus 1 and this will be c 0 this will be m plus 1 c 1 and this will be m plus 2 c 1 so we made column 2 dash c 2 minus c 1 c 3 dash will be c 3 minus c 1 so now if we expand this determinant so we will get this will be 1 1 1 1 and this will be m plus 1 this will be m plus 2 so this is our determinant has reduced to this now we will just break it m plus 2 minus m plus 1 mm gets cancelled out m plus 2 minus m minus 1 so this will be 1 so this was our question so if you had any problems comment below and if you did like my video hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you